everybody. And so we're back. We're back with Sims for Black Widow Challenge. And I'd forgotten how much of a bad mood Jessie was in. Oh my goodness. I um, really need to get her some food. Okay, so plan for today is we are going to get our claws into Jeffrey Langrab. I did weigh up the options of going with maybe Dennis Kim. Um, from Willow Creek, but I think because I want to, he's, he's the only eligible elves that I could think of. I mean, if we come across another one, we'll go after them. But I'm thinking Dennis Kim's got a nice house too. We'll keep him for next time, maybe. Um, what I was going to do with Dennis Kim was I wasn't going to kill his family, I was just going to move them out. But with um, the land grabs, I'm going to be killing off Nancy Landgrab. So let's get um, little Jesse here on that potty. Let's see what everyone else's mood is like. We're good. Salim, you're not going to last out the day, my darling. Um, well, yeah, probably will. I've got to marry him first, haven't we? I haven't married him yet. Uh, let's see. Everyone's asleep, apart from these two. Yeah, she really needs some food. Where? Oh, gosh. The gnomes are still here from yesterday. Let's sell the gnomes. We don't need the gnomes, and we do need the money. Uh, let's delete, delete, and delete. So it's got 310 for that one. They're pretty good. Um, I thought I could see something floating out the window. It's just probably Marcus haunting the treadmill. Right. Salim, you're downstairs. Okay. Is there any food in that fridge for Jesse? Oh, there is. There's some fish and chips and there's some pancakes. The pancakes are going to go bad first, so we'll get those out. Um, Can she come downstairs by herself yet? I don't think... Oh, wrong one. I don't think she's got a high enough movement skill. Oh, no, she hasn't. So we're going to have to carry her downstairs. Really need to get these movement skills and these potty skills up so they can take a little bit more care of themselves. We haven't got to be there all the time. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be lazy about it and I'm going to bring her food upstairs. <coughs> Excuse me. What's Celine doing out of bed anyway? Is his mood's fine to be fair. His mood is absolutely fine. What's this night on the town? Oh, free food and drink. Oh, she said because she had a bad holiday. Yeah, Harvest Fest did go well, did it? Um, Jesse, Jesse, where are you going? There's food here. I know you want to play because your fun's low, but yeah, hunger's more important than in. You can play after you've eaten. Oh no. See, I'd think that was sweet if he wasn't such a useless lump of a person. Can we marry you? Mm. I think we need to go and get um, our relationship up with Jeffrey Langrab first. I think that's what we're going to do. And then... Once we've got like husband number one, two, three, four lined up, then we can marry husband number three. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. And I don't know Jeffrey Langrow actually. I haven't got him as a friend in my little, little relationship panel. Or even know him casually. I'm sure I've seen him walking around, but I must not have gone up and introduced myself. So... What I'm going to do, once I've got the toddlers kind of settled. Oh, you're hungry too. Don't you eat that food. Salim, you, you're not even hungry. So don't don't eat it. Is he just put it... Oh, he's put it on the plate. Okay. Fair enough. Um, is it spoiled? Oh, no, it's spoiled. Oh, no. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's get some more food out of the fridge. 
put some fish and chips in here be lazy again take that upstairs and Kerry you can grab yourself a serving because you're hungry too are you going to cry it out? Oh, for the awful holiday. Oh, don't worry about it. Clean that up. Um, you can clean that up. Who's stinky? Oh, she's stinky. Okay, fair enough. Um, Jessie. Jessie's fine. She just needs some fun. Can we build your movement skill up as well as having fun at the same time? Yeah, play with your blocks. And who moved that rabbit? I don't remember that rabbit being right in the middle of the floor. Salim, honey, I asked you to do something. Could you... Oh, we can't get to it. Fair enough. Uh, let's move it. Um, let's move it down here. Let's move it down here. So at least you can get to it to clean it up. Go, go do that. You need to not be so sad. Can you clean those dishes? Don't just stack them and put them on the coffee table. You don't want to be doing that. She's going to need a bath in a minute. What can Trinity do? She's in a really, really good mood. She's got to go to school soon. Like, in th three minutes. Or is it because it's this holiday? Does she not have to go? She going to school? Yes, yeah, she's going to school. Okay, movement level two. Yes. So at least now she can go down the stairs by herself. Which really helps. Really, really helps. Um, Salim, you could do something. You could give a bath to... Kerry, because she's a bit stinky. Um, Angelina, could you... Are oh, you doing dishes? That's fine. And then I need you to make some food, because we're running out of food in the fridge. Serve some... Actually, no. Cook, because then we can do a plate of eight. Cook some... Um, chilli, maybe? Yeah, some veggie chilli. A plate of eight. Once you've done that, then we'll go. We'll go to actually find Jeffrey Langrab at his house. Hopefully he's home. He should be home. I don't even know if he's got a job, you know. He should. Surely he's got a job. He's got plenty of money. Nancy wouldn't have married him if he didn't have a job. Salim got to go to work today. Oh no, he's got three days. He hasn't got to go till Sunday. And it's Friday. Oh. Well, I suppose that gives us the weekend to marry him. We can maybe plan a wedding for tomorrow. In fact, yes, that is what I'm going to do right now. Let's plan a wedding for tomorrow as an event. A wedding. Bride and groom. Let's invite some guests. Obviously the three kids. Uh, Candy. Rainier. The doctor. Um, should we invite Devante? Oh, no, if we invite Bac Baco and Jade. Where have all my friends gone? I had more people in this list than this before. Uh, we'll invite Victor, even though I kind of got my heart set on him because he's rich too. And Devante, just so they can come. We can build the, the green bar, the friendship relationship bar. So it will be easier to move on them later on. We're not going to invite Maki Yoshida because, no. Even if we invited her, I doubt she'd come. And let's do caterer and mixologist and musician again. Because, you know, we might as well. And we'll do it in the same place again, I think, um, at the park. Just because it's so much easier. I haven't got to buy any extra stuff. There's a kitchen. There's an archway. There's entertainment stuff. It's just a great place to get married. And we'll do it again. We'll do it at 12 midday. Gives us time to get stuff sorted in the morning. Okay, so that's done. Um, she's doing food. The toddlers are pretty happy, to be fair. 
This may be the highest level of green bars that I've seen. Hi Nergic! How did you get on with your cult challenge last night? Needs to get, because she's starting to be a bit stinky now. Salim, could you bathe Jesse, please? And Kerry, what is your movement skill like? Oh, it's still under two, so you can go and play blocks. And then you'll be able to go downstairs by yourself. And then while they're doing that, are you finished cooking yet? No, come on, how long does it take to make chilli? Actually, that's a silly question. It takes ages to make decent chilli. Um, put that in the fridge. You guess you can have a serving because your hunger is quite low. Although, you know what? It's night on the town. You can get free food anywhere else at the moment. Where are the puddles everywhere? Is that Marcus? Has Marcus been leaving us little puddles because he was a drowned ghost? Anyway, right. She's eating. Let's go to travel on my own. I don't need to take anybody with me. Are oh, you not feeling too well? Oh no. Hope you feel better soon. Right, we are going to Oasis Springs and we are going to find Jeffrey Landgrab. This is where he lives, right? tell me he's in. Oh, he's not in. Why is he not in? Where is he? Hmm. I wonder if he's at the park. Or it could be he's at work. It is Friday in the day. Oh, no. I mean, there's a lot of bugs going around here, too. It's time of year. Doesn't know whether to be warm and sunny or freezing cold and rain at the moment. Five minutes before I had to leave for the school run this morning, it was torrential rain. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to leave it. And then halfway up the road, sun came out. Too hot for a coat almost. Okay, let's go and knock on this door. I don't... It says that Jeffrey's not in. I don't know where he's going to be. But this, this is our future house. Hi Chris, how you doing? It's not going. I don't know where he is though. Maybe he's at work. Um, Nancy, there you are, Nancy. Um, let's do a cheer for the instruction. We don't want her to hate us straight away, although we are probably going to end up murdering her. I mean, we've got to try and get on a good side, right? We're going to try and steal a husband. Where's Malcolm? Wow, look at this. This is going to be our house, guys. Not long woke up. What time is it? It's after 10 o'clock. <laughs> I've been awake three hours. Yeah, there's definitely room here for me and my kids. <laughs> They've been sent to daycare. Why? Celine's there. Why is he not there? Why is he not taking care of the kids? Is that... That's silly. What's he doing here? I didn't tell you you could come here. Go home. And take care of my babies. That's what you're good for. Oh, yeah. Day off. I don't know what a day off is. I mean, I'm a stay-at-home mom, so... Even when I'm not at work work... I'm still working. Okay. Salim, just leave. Go home. I don't want to be mean to him because we've still got to marry him. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> I need to know where Jeffrey is. Now, he's either at work or he's gone to the park or something, but I've got a feeling he's at work. I can't believe Salim came. It's a good job Jeffrey's not here, really, because if I was laying the moves on him, that would have been a bit awkward. Let's talk to you, Nancy. Let's sing about the night on the town. For some reasons. I've killed two so far. Salim, who's popped up over here, he's going to be husband number three. 
and Jeffrey Langrab is going to be done before because I want this house. We're living in one of the little starter homes in Windenburg at the moment, one of those tiny little Tudor style houses, and there's not room there for me and my three kids. Not at all. So we need this mansion. I've decided that I'm going to kill Salim in a sauna. I mean, I've got nearly 30 grand. I can afford to buy a sauna. And... But we can attach it to this house, probably, actually. Because I don't need to kill him until after. Hmm, trying to think of timeline. I need to kill him before I move in here, don't I? Do you reckon? You know what? He should be. He should be. He was at home when Marcus Flex, husband number two, died. He was there. And there's pictures on the wall of all my previous people too. Kids are not technically part of the challenge, no. But um, on the rules, there's like a list of points that you can get. And you get 100 points for every child that you have. So I thought I'd have a few. I'm not going to go all out 100 baby challenge style on it. I had one with the first husband, Paolo. Um, and she's a child now. And then we had twins with Marcus. So that's the only reason we've got three. I wouldn't have had three so like this early on by choice. This is not going to be fruitful if Jeffrey's not here. Maybe we need to come back later on. Let's go home. Come back after... Maybe after five. Maybe the finished work by then. I should drink my coffee before it goes cold. And let's see. Go home. Salim, by the way, uh, is useless. He's a complete useless lump. He does nothing. He's got a laziness trait. And it's really showing. Yeah. Yeah, being a serial killer and having kids. It's, it's hard work. Who knew? <laughs> you know. I can't remember. I think I made a note in my my little gaming notebook of all the different points and you get one for every husband you get one for every husband that you kill one for every child every date you lose points if your husbands die of natural causes that kind of thing it's really funny <laughs> see the man born i know everybody hates man buns i quite like a man born don't hate me <laughs> i quite like a man born They've got to do it right though. It can't be one of those little skinny ones. It's got to be a proper, you know, I've got a thing for memory long hair, so, you know. Right, you do something useful. You've got level 8 writing skill. Go write a book. Yeah, resume writing Life with the Black Widow. That screenplay that you were doing. How are my babies? Yeah, if you're going to have a man bun, you've got to have the whole, like, beard and stuff <laughs> but Salim's got that but no he's he's useless it took him ages to feed our kids and put them to bed right it seems so dull here it's the autumn isn't it it's just, ugh. I need to get out of Windenburg it's such a pretty world but ugh, I need some sunshine in my life we need to go move to the desert could move to Strangerville. But I don't know. Those possessed sims really freak me out. <laughs> they really do. Can you imagine if I had a baby with... Yeah, weather machine might be good. She hasn't got a very good hand in a skill though. She'll probably end up electrocuting herself. Can you imagine if we had a baby with... Um... Ooh, who would be good out of Strangerville? Maybe Irwin or Ted Roswell. Ted Roswell's the mayor, right? He should have a fair bit of money. Chris, have you got Strangerville yet? It's really good. Okay. I feel like we need to decorate Marcus's grave a little bit more. We went all out with Paolo's. Oh, and it's raining and blah. Let's clean up inside and wait for Jeffrey to get home. You don't know anything about it. I don't want to spoil it because if you do get it, it's very story driven. And so I don't want to spoil it. It's pretty good. It's a short story. 
and some of the houses like the Max's built houses have been done a little bit poorly if I'm honest like there's no decoration in it but it's still good yeah outside mm -hmm. you're f um, forgive me Nergic you're from I want to say Netherlands is that right or am I just if I imagined that Trinity's got a C. It was her first day at school, though, to be fair. Let's see. Oh, no, it wasn't her first day at school. She could... Yeah, she's probably going to get a B, though, tomorrow. Oh, not tomorrow. Saturday, tomorrow. Monday. Use the weekend to get your homework done. Estonia. <laughs> and it was somewhere in Europe. <laughs> You've been playing Apex Legends. That looks good, to be fair. Um, Jack played it. Um, because he loves Fortnite, my lad does. So when Apex came out, I was like, "Look, look at this! It's a bit like Fortnite, but maybe not as brightly coloured." And he played it a little bit. You live in the UK, though. Cool. Uh, we're up in the Midlands. Who's calling you? It's British Jade. It's Jade again. No, no, he's not going out to your house, Jade. Every single one of my husbands has had some other woman after them. Oh, Jesse, Really? Oh, yeah, he's he finished his book. Let's go and publish it. Sell to publisher or self-publish? That's the more money, isn't it, that one? Question. If anybody knows, if he publishes a book here while he's living with us and then he dies in a mysterious accident... Do I, as his widow, continue to get the royalties? Or do they do they stop coming in once he's died? No, no, Jesse, no. Don't do that. Um, discipline, just calmly. Just please, please don't do that. Because if I'm getting him to write decent quality books, I want to be making that money off him. And then I'm still getting it in after he's died. Which would be better than anybody else has done so far. Obviously, Paolo and Marcus had jobs. But now they're dead, that's it. But if he can give me royalties, even better. He will have a use after all. I'm sure I'll find out within a few days. Wedding set for Saturday. We'll have a dinner party on Sunday. And hopefully he'll be dead by Monday. That all depends on how quickly we can get our hands on Jeffrey Langrab, though, to be fair. So, Jesse, 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 where are you? You're hungry and you're tired. Maybe you want to go to sleep first? This was your bed, wasn't it? Kerry, you're getting a bit sleepy, but it's only five o'clock. If you sleep now, you won't sleep all through the night. Um, Yeah, keep playing. Get some skills up. Why are you so sad? Oh, the mess. Okay. And then it's after five, so we'll travel again. We'll go and, back and see if he's back home from work. I'm going to assume that's where he was. I think he's got like a Monday to Friday nine to five job. Do they not? Mm. They should do, shouldn't they? It makes sense. Uh, excuse me, having my coffee again. Okay, hopefully he's back home. Let's see. Where's his springs? And he's home. Yay. It must have been at work then. Let's go and romance Jeffrey Langrab. <laughs> it could have changed. It could have been patched, couldn't it, since then? I mean, 2014, wasn't that when the game first came out? But, mm. Right, where are we? Oh, I don't even need to knock on the door. There he is. Hi, Jeffrey. Flirty introduction. I mean, he's like Bill Gates, isn't he? Do you reckon that's who he was based on? In this iteration. I mean, Jeffrey Langrab's looked a little bit different over the years, hasn't he, in Sims? Oh, no, you can't. See, I love animals, but... I've got a bit of a love-hate relationship with cats. 
It's having so many when I was younger. <laughs> oh, he's into it. Um, I'm not going to ask him if he's single because I know he's married. And that might be a negative thing, isn't it? Should we do a do a flirt? Suggestive conversation already. He's like he's really into it. Tease. Where is his wife? I don't want her to like walk in and see us. Oh really? From two years ago. I bet it's still a thing that I'm sure we'll find out for definite soon enough anyway. But yeah, if it's from then. I bet they haven't patched it since. Um, let's do a snuggle. This is making me a little bit sick to my stomach because I'm not a fan of Jeffrey Langer. I was going to go for Jeffrey Kim after him. I mean, not Jeffrey Kim. Dennis Kim. I haven't got him on my relationships list either. And I was going to woohoo him today. So yeah. Tickle mercilessly. Can we do a first kiss yet? No, it's probably a bit too early, right? Um, exchange numbers. And confess attraction never works, does it? Isn't it always a bit too far forward? I don't want to gush about my partner. Let's offer you a rose. Oh, he loves us. First kiss. <clears throat> oh, he loves us. Oh, no. Oh, that's really sad for the when you lose a cat. Ooh, try for a baby. Oh, no, maybe that's a little bit too. Far forward. We can do a woohoo though. Go woohoo him. I thought that's where you were. You with your your nerd shelf. I wonder if that was at your boyfriend's house. Was that the random voice in the background on your video the other day? I don't know if I want to watch this. <laughs> but he knew about the dragon glass. Oh, that's Malcolm. We're going to have to... You can't kill teens, can you? <clears throat> or kids, just adults. Oh, no. He's going to leave. That's okay. Because if we move in here, I've got to get rid of his family. Somehow. Nancy might have an accident. But Malcolm... Can't, I might have to just move him out then if I can't kill teens. Thought he wasn't grown enough. Thought he was like a young adult, Sim. Uh, no, what are you doing? 